everybody. Just putting up a video done with Lady Diana. Very interesting. I forgot to ask some really important questions. She said she'd do another one, which is good. So that'll have to be when I do the important questions. So if you notice the important questions I missed, like what was it like being married to Charles? Um, stuff like that. Living in the palace. <laughs> but I did ask some other interesting questions. I hope you enjoy it. If you notice some really big ones I missed aside from those two, comment and I will put them on the list to ask her the next time I talk to her. So I hope you enjoy it. See you on the other side. I know we set it up okay ahead of time that I could just call you Diana. And I just want to say hello and thank you for coming for this. I know a lot of people would love to hear from you. And thank you for coming by so that they can hear from you. Would you like to say hello to everyone? The first thing I'd like to know, if there's anything you want to tell people, any messages, anything that you'd like to tell them about. Are you aware of how much time has gone by since you passed away? Well, it's been quite some time. I don't really know, 20 or more? Okay, and um, did you know that you were pregnant at the time of your death? When you were in the car accident with Dodi Fayed, uh, people wondered if that was really an accident. Some people believe that that was actually some sort of setup. Is that true? Have you found peace where you are? <laughs> they say you had a really tough life when you were alive and you did so much for the world. You tried so hard to do the right thing and it seemed like you had a hard time. It was like the royal family never seemed to give you the respect that you needed and you know, you kind of got thrown into life with Charles and then he never supported you. They said you had a lot of depression through your life. Is that true? Do you have any advice? Do you have any things you can say to people who may be feeling kind of depressed now that now that you're on the other side? that you wish that somebody had told you when you were on this side. Do you know that you have, I think, five grandchildren right now and one on the way? Yeah, it's kind of exciting to be a grandma, isn't it? Young and beautiful, and that's the way everybody remembers you. Not as a grandmother, I think. Let's see, there's George, 
Um, Charlotte, Louise, those are all William's children. And you have Archie, who is Harry's uh, son. And they have a new little baby girl coming. Just gonna ask, do you watch over them from where you are? Um, are you aware of all the scandal that's going on in the royal family with your son, uh, Harry, right now? He kind of left the royal family. I don't know all the details, but it seems that there may be some prejudice involved. I think you probably um, have more experience with the royal prejudice in some way, or if there is any royal prejudice. Anyway, it seems that your grandchildren from Harry aren't going to have royal titles, and Harry isn't even a isn't even one of the royals anymore. It's a good thing it seems that you left him money to take care of him and his family, independent of the royal families. Did you know? Did you have a, a sense or a psychic intuition that he was going to need it? <laughs> It seemed that you had a hard life with Charles. Did it was it always hard from the beginning or did it just get hard after you had married him? It's like we picked up a list somewhere along the way and I've tried to filter it out on the box over here. I know you don't normally lisp. Is this something that you could try to clear up on your end because it's making it hard to hear on this side and I don't know how it's going to come across when I go through the box. I hate to be a pain but... <laughs> How was your relationship with the Queen herself? What did you think of Prince Andrew? Did you think he had the personality to get involved with people like Epstein and um, people like that? Have any other thoughts on, on what it was like to live in? How long do you think that the royal family in England has left before it just completely falls apart and becomes 100% totally irrelevant? Do you think uh, Charles is ever going to be king? Do you think William's ever going to be king? Prince Philip is very sick. He's in his late 90s, I think, and he's been in hospital for some time now. Is he close to the other side where you are? Or? Mm. 
Well, I think I've sort of been bugging you with questions enough. Thank you for talking to me. I really, really, really appreciate talking to you. It's not every day somebody like me gets to talk to royalty. And thank you very much for talking to us. And if there's anything you'd like to say before we say goodbye, I'll give you a minute to say it. Say goodbye. Um, I really feel like I should curtsy. <laughs> but thank you for coming. <laughs> Hi everybody, this is River. River, say hi. <laughs> River, say hi. Oh, the River <laughs> uh, This is River. River's a happy guy. Um, River's very happy. <laughs> so what'd you think of that video? <laughs> what'd you think of that video, huh? <laughs> I know, I forgot to ask so many important questions, but I thought some of those answers were really, really, oops, he knocked over my tea. Um, I thought some of those questions were really, really, really interesting. Austin, you want to meet Austin? Austin, come here. That's rivers jumping up and down. Austin, Austin, come up, come. And this is Austin. You can see he's much more mellow. Huh. This is Austin, he's my service friend. He's much more mellow. So, <laughs> now you've uh, met the boys. Ah, here's the boys. As you can see, River's a little hyper and Austin's mellow. So, I hope you enjoyed that video. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Ring the little bells for notifications. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. And all I can say is subscribe. Love you guys. Bye.